Hello everyone. Let us solve this um, simultaneous equation using determinant method <clears throat> solution. Okay, so we are first of all, we will first of all write this in a matrix form. So this is going to be 2, 3, minus 1, 1, and then we have 8 and 2 on that side. So this is now in matrix form. And the first thing we are going to do is to find the determinant of the root um, matrix, talking about 2, 3, minus 1, 1. So to find the determinant of this, we'll find our D. So D will be equal to 2 times 1, that will be 2, then minus 3 times 1, that will give us minus 3. Okay, so the determinant there will be equal to 2 plus 3, and that is 5. And the next thing we are going to find is to find the determinant x. And if you are considering the determinant x, that means that this one will be excluded. So our dx will now be equal to, if this is excluded, then we are going to consider this. Okay, to find the determinant x, this is what we shall consider. We will have um, 8 first, 8 and 2, then we have minus 1, and then 1. And this determinant will be 8 times 1, we have 8. Then minus 8 times minus 1 will give us minus 2. And this is the same thing as um, 8 plus 2, which will give us 10. Yes. Now the next thing we'll find is to find our determinant x, I mean determinant y. Okay. And if you're looking for determinant y, it means you will consider this and that. So this will not be included again. So we will consider 2, 3, and then 8, and then um, 2. So the determinant of this will be 4 minus um, 24. That is 2 times 2 here, and then minus 3 times 8, which is 24. This will give us minus 20 after subtraction. Now we can find the value of x and y. So remember that x will be equal to determinant of x, determinant of x all over the determinant. And this will be equal to, what is our dx? dx is 10, so we have 10 over the d is 5. So we have um, 5 here. This means that the value of x in this equation is 2. And then to get the value of y, we would have this dy all over d. And this will be equal to what's our dy? Minus 20 all over d and it's 5. And then minus 20 divided by 5 will give us minus 4. So this means that the value of x is 2 and the value of y is minus 4. So this is how to solve an equation using determinant method. Thank you for watching.